Hi, this is Powell with the seventh and last uh, part of the poker game in C sharp. We have everything ready. Uh, we have uh, to evaluate the poker hand on both players and display the results. We did uh, our hand evaluator, we did all the conditions, uh, and now we can go to our deal cards and uh, evaluate the actual hand so we already created the empty method this is the last method that we will be doing so uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, create players and and computers evaluation objects all right so um, and uh, we will pa remember we are passing the sorted hand to constructor it's very important otherwise we wouldn't be able to evaluate it very well so uh, I will do a simple player hand uh, I'm gonna call it uh, actually it's a hand uh, evaluator and I'll call it player hand evaluator it's a little long but quite descriptive i think uh, equals simply new hand evaluator and like i said we, we are passing the sorted array and this is a player so we are passing the sorted uh not computers or but sorted uh player hand all right and we will do the hand evaluator for the computer hand and that equals the new hand evaluator and we are passing the sorted computer hand to it so now we are ready to evaluate the hands and uh, so let's do get the players and computers hand so our hand, player hand, equals player hand evaluator, and we are calling the evaluate hand method. All right. So uh, evaluate hand is the kind of like the heart of everything. It simply goes and checks which of these is actually true, and returns which one it is. And we do the same for the computer. We have to evaluate computer hand. Computer hand evaluator. Eva no, computer hand. Evaluate hand. So now this will return the evaluated hand, compare the player hand, compare the computer hand, and return. Uh, um, doesn't compare it returns what the player hand is and what the computer hand is now we can display each hand and we can do console dot right line and we can do I'll just add a bunch of new lines uh, like under the cards and it will simply say players hand and we will display the player hand it will simply say two pairs or one pair or whatever uh, the player has and we will do console that right line uh, for the computer or the line after after that we'll start on a new line so it will say computer computers hand and it was equal to computer hand And now we can evaluate the hands. So if a player hand is greater than computer hand, well, guess what? The player wins. So we can do console dot right line, and it says player wins. All right, and. Uh, Else, if player hand is less than computer hand, 
then obviously the computer one so we will do console dot right line computer wins and the last option is else and this basically is if the hands are the same evaluate the values all right so uh like if i have it's a, if it's a draw there still may be a winner whoever has the higher value you know uh, if i have a, a two pairs uh, uh, if i have a one pair of twos and the computer has two, one pair of threes the computer wins so let's say first evaluate who has higher value of poker hand so that's what i just said it's like whoever is the uh, the actual hand and then we will evaluate who, if this is the same still then whoever has the highest card uh, wins so if our player hand evaluator uh, the hand value total is greater than the computer hand evaluator hand values total then console dot right line obviously player wins player wins else if player hand evaluator hand values total is less than computer hand evaluator hand values total then we will write console dot right line computer wins now if both have the same poker hand um, for example uh, for example both have I don't know a pair of Queens all right then then the player and it's gonna be the player with the highest card with uh, so the player with the next higher card wins so if everything is being equal then whoever has the higher card wins so we will simply do another else if uh, and the player hand evaluator that hand values that high card is greater than computer hand evaluator dot hand values dot high card then again the player wins so console dot uh, right line player wins else if player Play hand evaluator that hand values that high card is less than the computer one then of course the computer one and if neither of this is true then we'll just simply do a draw we will not evaluate any more cards console that right line and it will say draw no one wins and that is uh, our evaluation so um you know what let me let me run it and let's see what we get if anything okay i got my uh my screen here and it quit on me so something's wrong here and it says after reference not said okay so uh it we need to declare the instantiate the object reference not set to an instant of an object so the 
hard but well, something was not instantiated obviously uh, we have we have the cards we have the property that returns it okay we have the property that we are trying to you know uh, retrieve the values from but we don't have it actually set to anything we have to go to our constructor over here and do our what the, what the property actually uh, equals to and it equals to the sorted hand it's that's why i keep stressing that we are dealing here with the sorted hand array so uh let me run it again see if we get any other errors oh we didn't look at that all right so it says player hand two pairs so what do we have we have five and five and jack and jack computer hand has one pair the threes and then he has seven jack and queen so player wins let's play again it says player hand one pair so it has well, four and four and then six seven and eight there's nothing and computer has nothing so yeah player wins let's play again now see they both have nothing five ten jack whatever three there's nothing but player wins because player has an ace and uh, the computer has only a queen so if you play again uh player hand has nothing so the computer wins because he has one pair of tens 10 and 10 uh player hand has one pair it has the kings over here and notice how they are always sorted uh, like uh, two three king king and ace or four seven queen king and ace that's what we what we need uh, we need to display and evaluate that's what that, that's the at the heart of the evaluation process to have these cards uh, sorted so player hand nothing uh, one pair oh two aces so computer wins two pairs for the comp uh, for the player so four and four and then queen and queen and computer has one pair only and it has two three so that's computer loses and again both have nothing but player has a queen so player wins again now it says it's a draw because uh, both have nothing but they both have a king that's the highest card so we we stop there it's a draw technically the player won because the next highest card is queen but we didn't go that far we have one pair of each so uh computer has two jacks i mean the player has two jacks and uh, computer has uh eight so play one because jacks is higher than eight player hand one pair uh jack computer nothing let me just run few okay so again it's nothing ace beats king so so player wins and you can keep testing it and uh, I mean, I, the code will be available for download so feel play with it you can you can debug it you can uh, manually set the cards I, I pressed extra enter that's why it crashed it was uh, looking for uh, uh, for an for a char uh, and and like if I press something if I, okay it, it does validate uh, whether I press uh, Y and N or N but if I just press enter it will not so if I press let's say U to play again it will say invite selection try again if I just press enter it will actually crash because it's expecting over here you can see it tries to convert this to character but pressing enter is not a character so but that's just a thing you can add to yourself you know, all these uh, little uh, input validators the point is this seems to be working but there might be some bugs it's not I, I, I didn't test it all that much but uh as far as i'm concerned this was a long project for a video so i'm done with it uh if you have any questions please feel to ask uh, on in the comment section hopefully someone will be able to answer that uh, i'm not sure if I, it will be me like, like i said i don't really want to come back to this anymore so uh i hope it was helpful at least a little maybe there were a few tricks uh, I know the uh, hand evaluator might have been a little confusing, but if you look through the code and see what's happening, what is being uh, compared, what values are being compared, and why, you know, like step by step, you will be able to 
comprehend the uh, the logic behind it. I mean, there's a million other ways to do this. Uh, this one is fairly simple, not very effective, obviously. Uh, it seems to be a code repetition, so this would be a candidate for refactoring. But uh, as a small poker game project, I think, uh, you know, to practice a little C-sharp, this was uh, a fairly good exercise, I hope. So uh, if you liked it, please like the video. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, leave comments, email me if you have any projects uh, you would like me to look at. Not so much projects, but just exercises. Something like this uh, I cannot do for you, uh, at least not too often anyway. Uh, so, uh, yeah, stay, uh, uh, stay tuned. There will be more videos coming, of course, and I'll see you next time. Take care.